Hi guys, this is Manas and today we'll be discussing a very important aspect that's trace of a line. So what in the world does this trace mean? To put it in simple words, a trace is a point at which the line or its extension meets the HP or the VP. A line will show a HT that is a horizontal trace if it is inclined to HP. Similarly, a line will show a VT that's a vertical trace if it is inclined to VP. And a line parallel to both HP and VP will have no trace. So I've divided this tutorial into two different cases. Case one is going to be all about a line inclined to HP and its corresponding horizontal trace will be located. And case two deals with a line inclined with VP and its corresponding vertical trace will be found on a vertical plane. Okay. So now let's understand all of this with the help of a pictorial representation. So guys, let's begin with case number one and it's for line that is inclined to HP and parallel parallel to VP that is vertical plane now HP and VP are principal planes let us say that we have a line this so called AB line um, this over here is point A and this guy is what we call point B now we are going to look at this line from two different ways first we are going to look at this line right from the front that is we will be getting the front view and at the same time we will be looking at this line right from the top all right now what we will be doing is the true length of the line can only be seen from the front because the line is inclined to the HP and it is absolutely parallel to the VP all right now there is this angle guys over here this angle is represented by theta all right now I'm going to look at this line from the front and on producing these it intersects this vertical plane somewhere here and on producing a line from point B it intersects this vertical plane somewhere here these are the points which I'll refer to as point A dash since it is a front view point A dash and this is what you call point B dash since it is the front view all right now let us say that this line A dash B dash represents your final front view similarly I'm going to draw these so-called projector lines down below until they intersect the horizontal point at a certain point. So this point is intersecting here and this B point is going to intersect somewhere exactly here. And this is what you call um, point A, top view of point A, that is a, simply A and this is what you call point B. All right, now let's join A and B and here we have this, what you call the top view of this line AB. All right. Now, what we are supposed to do is we are supposed to find the trace. Okay. So, watch carefully, and eventually you're going to see that we have found the trace. We are going to produce this line until it intersects a plane. Okay. Now, if you see this, if we produce this line starting from point B, you will end up nowhere. Okay. It's not going to intersect either HP or VP. But to when you speak of point A and when you produce this point A, it is going to intersect this horizontal plane somewhere here. I'm going to show you the exact location. All right. Please watch carefully. Let us say that we are producing and it intersects the horizontal plane somewhere here. And this over here, guys, is what you call trace. And to be very specific, since this inclined line intersects this horizontal plane, we are going to call this horizontal trace okay and this overall thing is what you call a pictorial representation and now let's join this front view with the top view looks like this this is front view again let us join this front view with the top view and it's going to look like something like this now you are not supposed to draw this this was only for explanation this is a pictorial representation in fact all right what we need to do is I'm going to show you what you need to do okay I'll be drawing a corresponding this is what you call a pictorial pictorial representation and I'll be making an orthographic orthographic view of this or orthographic projection of this overall scenario and for that please have a careful look this is x and this over here is y so i'm going to draw this x y line over here let us say this is 
the x y line all right and then when you rotate this horizontal plane 90 degrees in the clockwise sense you're going to have this x y line and below this x y line you will have this horizontal plane and above this x y line you will have this vertical plane okay so this is where where um, we're going to have the front view and this is where we'll have the top view all right now <clears throat> this was a dash and this is a let us write a and this is a dash now we had this inclination this inclination over here you guys can see this inclination this also is in fact theta so we'll have this line okay right and we have this point as b dash and this inclination is what you call theta and we are going to find this trace okay okay now produce a line starting from b dash down below somewhere around here and this a b line you can see this a b line is absolutely parallel to this x y line and that's it that's a top view or orthographic view but we are supposed to find the trace okay we are so supposed to find the exact location where on extending this inclined line it intersects the horizontal plane so i'm going to show you here in this orthographic view okay now please watch this carefully if i extend this line over from here it is going to cut somewhere here okay if you extend this line from here it is going to intersect somewhere here and that's it so let us say that this point has been named as h all right this angle which is it is going to make is going to be absolutely 90 degrees it's an orthographic view that's why now what needs to be done is i'm going to extend this this over here and this over here do this with the help of a scale i'm doing this manually and this point corresponds to point h in the corresponding orthographic view now you see this line over here this line and when you turn this horizontal plane by an angle of 90 degrees this would be somewhere here all right so i'm going to bring this line down here okay and this line over here you can see this okay towards this direction and i'm going to bring this towards this direction so guys this is what you call the horizontal trace or precisely the exact location of horizontal trace let's move on for case number two in which i'll be discussing a vertical trace so guys this is case two and i'm going to show you how to find a vertical trace that means on producing the line you will find that it intersects the vertical plane at a certain point all right so let's see how so this line over here is what you call the a b line it has been inclined to the vertical plane and you can see this line is absolutely parallel to the horizontal plane now we are going to look at this line from two different ways firstly we are going to look at this line from the front and uh, when you look at this line from the front you're going to see that it on producing this line it meets the horizontal plane somewhere here somewhere here so this is going to be the front view of point b this is going to be b then it meets this vertic vertical plane somewhere here so this is going to be the front view of point a so this is a dash and when you join this a dash b dash you will have a view to be very specific it's the front view okay at the same time when you look at this line from the top now we are going to look at this line from the top somewhere from here all right now you'll see that this line intersects this horizontal plane somewhere here so guys this is what you call point a simply the top view of this point a and when you produce this it means this horizontal plane somewhere here so this is point b and when you join a and b you will see that you have this top view all right and this particular angle can also be seen from the top and this is what you call angle phi that's it now we are interested in locating the trace and to be very specific it's a vertical trace and for that follow the steps all right so when you produce this line from point a it is going to end up cutting this vertical plane somewhere here and this is what you call the vertical trace all right i'm going to write here vertical trace okay 
now you can also extend this this is what you call point V okay this is exactly the point where the top view intersects this reference line or the so called XY line alright and you can uh, join this and you can join this alright I'm going to make an orthographic view of this pictorial representation so this is what you call a pictorial representation and now let's head over to this very popular orthographic projection all right now for that we have this xy line right this very popular xy line we have x and y fine <clears throat> now on rotating this horizontal plane you'll realize um, that below this xy line we'll have this hp and above this xy line we'll have vp okay on rotating this by an angle of 90 degree in the clockwise sense now this is what you call a projector line starting from a dash and uh, till a and then we have this projector line from b dash and it is going to end up somewhere here right so what i'm going to do right now i'll take this point this point fine and then i have this a dash so this over here is what you call a dash and this is what you call a okay so this the distance is, uh, shall be given in the problem as to at what height it is above the horizontal plane and what distance it lies in front of the vertical plane etc etc the next thing that we are interested in is the angle phi or the angle that the line makes with the vertical plane let us say that this angle is um, this angle is phi and we have this line okay we have this line this line over here let us say this is represented by point p and when you look at this from the front okay you will have this front view absolutely parallel since it is parallel to the horizontal plane okay so let's head straight from this direction and we'll end up somewhere here and this guys is going to be the final front view all right this is a a dash and this is going to be b and this is b dash so this is the true length and this over here is the angle phi what we are interested in is locating this guy vertical trace okay for that what i'm going to do is you see this line a b extend this line until it intersects this x y line somewhere at b okay so let's do this um let's extend this a b line until it intersects this x y line at b, v okay and draw this perpendicular line from here let's draw this perpendicular line from here drawn done then this is the front view a dash b dash extend this front view a dash b dash along or in the direction of this perpendicular line and you will have yourselves this what do you call vertical race so guys this is what you call the vertical race and this is basically a method at which you can employ uh, to find its precise location all right so guys that was all from my side if you really appreciate the content and presentation in this video do give it a big thumbs up in case of any queries or doubts do leave a comment down below in the comment section join us again to learn more about engineering drawing and do subscribe till then this is manas patnak signing off take care and keep drawing